Hey guys, let's talk about the new vlogging camera from Sony, the ZV-E10, I think that's it. Unless you have been living under a rock, you have got to have noticed that Sony is killing the camera market right now. It's got us Canon users, like, figuring out what we're gonna do. Are we gonna stay, are we gonna switch? It's another topic for another video, but man, they are killing it. And so they've dropped a new camera targeted towards vloggers. And I wanna go over the features about this camera that I think are great, and some of the things that I really don't like about it. So let's jump right into it. I don't know what has taken Sony so long to implement this, but they finally put a flip out screen on a small bodied camera. Thank you for doing that. Canon, I will have to say, has had this right for a really long time. And so Sony finally figured this out and maybe that's part of the reason why they're killing it and blowing it up. But that's the first thing about this camera that I really, really like. The second thing I like about this camera is you know what you're gonna get with the sensor. It is reliable, dependable. It's the same sensor they have been putting in the Alpha 6000, I think, or the 6100 line. Uh, so it's an old sensor, but a reliable sensor. You know what you're gonna get. I believe it's a down-sampled 6K image, so that's, the image is great, sharp, good in low light. You know what you're getting. Everybody likes this bokeh. Everybody loves this look, but a lot of times people just don't know how to achieve that and they're just starting out. And so this camera really simplifies that. They've actually just put a button on the camera. If you want bokeh, you press that button and your camera takes all the settings that it needs and applies that. Another thing that I really like that they've implemented in this camera, from what I can tell and seeing it works pretty well, they have something called clear voice recording um, and they use the internal mic on the camera and I don't know what they do or how they do it, but they're getting a lot clearer audio straight out of the camera body without an external mic. And that's really nice because I think this camera is designed for grab and go, um, people that are just starting out vlogging and just fast vlogging where you don't always wanna carry your camera rig, your big camera rig and stuff around. So I think that is a win for sure. The next thing is just the size of it. I love the small form factor. You literally can pick this thing up, vlog, and nobody's gonna pay attention to you. The next thing I wanna talk about is the price point. $6.99 for this camera. Now that's just the body only, but that is a great price. So under a thousand dollars, you can get a vlogging camera that is way better than your cell phone with a lot of cool features. I believe with the 16 to 50 mil kit lens, I think it's 7.99 right now. So that's a great, great deal. Good price point. The next thing that I love about this camera is it's interchangeable lenses. You're not stuck with one focal length or a zoom lens that's gonna give out on you over time. This thing has got interchangeable lenses. So as you grow as an artist, as you grow as a cinematographer, you can add to your list. And Sony's got great lenses for this system. The other thing about this camera that I like is it has log profiles. I'm not a big fan of S-Log. I always found it kind of hard to grade, but it's there if you need it. It's way better than not having it. You're gonna get better dynamic range, a lot of other features, and it's pretty cool that they included it in this camera at this price point, so that's a win. But let's talk about the things that I really don't like about this camera, and the first has gotta be it's an old sensor. And yeah, I know I said that that was a plus, but it's dated by now. This sensor is really dated. I don't know why Sony just didn't go ahead and put a new and improved sensor into this camera body because it's a new lineup, a new name. I don't know why they didn't do that, but maybe to keep that price point low, but this camera sensor is really starting to show some age. So for me, that's a negative. Another thing I don't like about this, it's got the old menu system in it, and I really don't like Sony's old menu system. Um, really complicated. Another thing about this camera that I don't like is the color science. That's a big topic, you know, Canon versus Sony color science. I'm a Canon shooter, so I'm used to color grading Canon's footage, but Sony has always had a little bit of an issue with color for me, and maybe it's just me, but I don't know if they've updated the color science on this one and gave it the same one as, as some of their full frame cameras, but for me, S-Log3 is just not that great. It's kind of hard to uh, color grade. Probably the biggest gripe I have about this camera is the rolling shutter. That's the whole reason I got away from the Alpha Lana back in the day because I just couldn't stand the rolling shutter. And when you're vlogging, you're moving your camera and you're always twisting it around and stuff and that rolling shutter just drives me crazy. So I don't understand why it's 2021, they didn't fix that. I mean, come on Sony. I'd say that's about the only negatives I have about this camera body. I'm pretty excited about it because it opens up the door for a lot of people that are wanting to get into vlogging or just capturing their daily life and don't have a lot of money to spend on the camera. So 
for under a thousand dollars, you can get a great setup and shoot some good footage, really good cinematic footage. I'm very familiar with this sensor and have shot, I've built our company on that sensor, on that camera. I had an A6300 and loved it. And the only reason that I got rid of that camera was because of the rolling shutter. So other than that, this is a great system, a great setup. If you're looking for a beginner's camera, a way to get into cinematography, and not break the bank, check out the Sony ZV-E10. Ha, I said it. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. If you like that kind of content, join our tribe. Make sure to subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon, and thank you for watching. We'll catch you next video. Peace.